Hi, and welcome to the 2017 Paper 2 of the Junior Cert Higher Level. Uh, this is question 4, we're starting here. And before we get stuck in, I'd suggest you have a go with it, okay? Uh, so pause the video, have a go and see what you get. See what happens in the next few pages. And if you want the screen grab of these questions and the answers built in on the previous pages, or sorry, uh, for, uh, further pages, please send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. And I'll send you on the, form, the PDF. All right, this part 4A has a 10B score, so, you know, there's not much gradation there. If you get a good attempt, you get 4, fair, you know, but if you make any major error, you want to go back to 4, so that's the downside there. The stem and leaf diagram below shows the number of copies of the new news sold each week over 17 weeks in a particular shop. Now, that's 17. I'm just looking through the question. That may be important later on. It's important to know what the stem and leaf diagram is. Okay, how it works. Um, it's very commonly asked these days. So the value in the diagram for one of the weeks is P, where P is an element of N, that means it's a natural number, so it'll be a positive whole number. And between one P is between one and ten. So P is greater than equal to one, less than ten, so actually it's between one and nine really. Um, and there's too many plots there that scores as eight people that week. 1 and 6 make 16, 1 and 6 make 16, 1 and 7 make 17. So it's just a way of representing data that's uh, slightly different. Uh, the key there shows you it. Okay, it's important to be able to recognize that. And in a future question, a different question, if you're asked to draw a stem leaf plot, you have to be able to make that key. Okay, otherwise it won't get the full marks. Anyway, part A says the range of the data is 39. Find the value of P. Now, if you know what range is, okay, I'd write it down there. Okay, so. I'll just go to the answer here because uh, I might have done yes. So range is equal to the maximum value, take away the minimum value. Now that alone, without looking at the market scheme directly, should get you that uh, par uh, partial four, okay? Because it's one relevant step. But anyway, okay, you know the range is 39. You don't know the max. You don't know is that four and P together, is that 41, 42, 43, 47? You know, we don't know um, yet any. You're taking away the minimum value, which you're given, is 0, 8, which is 8. Okay, so even the equation there, just the written in words, it's an equation of three unknowns, you know two of them, so there's only, there's only one unknown, and you can solve for it. So put my numbers in, 39 equals max, take away the 8. Okay, uh, bring the 8 across equal, it changes operator, it was subtracting, on the left it becomes added. 29 and 8 should give me 47. Okay, now, 47 isn't the value of P. Uh, when you break it down there, that's written as 4 for the 40s, and P represents the which one which unit of the 40s it is. So the P then corresponds to the 7 in the 40s. So P is actually 7, not 47. Now I'd say, uh, I don't actually mark the genius anymore, but I imagine that wasn't necessarily clear to most people. Uh, not most, but some. And they would have written down 47 and not identified the 7. So you just need to look at the market scheme to see what would have happened that year. Anyway, that's part A. Now, the next thing here, part B, is the mode. Okay, so find the value of each of the following statistics for this data. So part 1 is the mode, part 2 is the median. Now, the mode is just the number or the data point that occurs most often. Okay, and we'll switch the answer here, okay? So I'll set that there. Now, which one occurs most? 8 occurs once. 16 occurs twice. 19 occurs three times. There occurs more than once, more than once, more than once. Okay, so 16 does occur twice, but 19 occurs three times. Now, the mode is not three, which is a mistake people often make. That's how many times the most used data point occurs. It's, it's actually the data point itself. So 19 is your answer. Now, the median is the middle value when the data points are arranged in increasing order, increasing size. So you see there, 08, uh, 16, 16, 17, 19, 19, 19. So our middle value, okay, is there's 17 values in total. Okay, so if you work it out, there is a middle value. It's the ninth value. Okay, there's eight values great lower, eight values higher. Okay, and that would mean the, the 17 values. Now with an odd numbered list, you're going to have a middle value. With an even number list, you're going to have two middle values, and you don't have to get the, I suppose, the mean of them or the average of them. So, anyway, if you count our middle values to the ninth value, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's two and one is 21 copies. 
Now, part C here says the sum, so the, all the data added together, the sum of the data in the stem and leaf diagram is 431. So if you added all the pieces of data together, okay, 8 plus 16 plus 16 plus 17 plus 19, etc., you get 431. It says use this fact to find the mean of the data correct to one decimal place. Now, that sounds, you, know, you hear mean of data and you go stem and leaf plot, ah, it's going to be hard. But they've given you everything you need in the question. They've given you the 431. In the previous part A, they've given you the 17 I have here. So the mean is the sum of the data divided by the number of data points. Okay, that's the mean of a ungrouped frequency table, um, which this is. Okay, so it's 431 divided by 17. Uh, now my calculation came out with 25.35. Now that's the two decimal places they wanted to correct to one decimal place. Okay, uh, so you get 25. The five here is what's important. Five is greater than four, so you round the prior previous number up by one, and I get 25.4. There's no units associated there, I don't think. Maybe you should say copies. Okay. Um, I, I didn't. I don't. I've very much doubt that took max for that. So that's part C. Now part D here, okay. Um, there's a 10C grade going on here and a 10C grade for part 3. You usually see three parts together, they're marked together, you know, um, but that's, that's not in this case. In the 18th week, there was a special issue of the Newry News, and there were a lot more copies of it sold than in any other weeks. Find the modal number of copies sold per week over the over the 18 weeks. That is the mode. Okay. Now I'll go straight to the answer here just to get it done out clearly. Okay, so the mode is the 19 copies, okay? Now, no matter how many copies are sold in the 18th week, it won't mean that there's more, you know, more than 19 copies. So, um, 19 occurs three times, no matter what the number is, if it's maybe more than 40 to 47, whatever the biggest number, that can't occur more than three times, because it's only, only occurring once. So the mode doesn't change, it's still 19. So if you understand the mode, you understand that it's, it's pretty tricky, okay? Uh, you have to really understand the mode and, and, and the, the complexity of what they're asking. Part two here now says, find the median number of copies sold per week over the whole 18 weeks. So we said earlier for the median that the 17th week has a middle value, okay, that is the ninth week, okay. Um, so now there's 18 weeks. So the median won't change because we look at the middle value. It doesn't matter what the, has happened to the extreme value here at the end, the new value. No matter what it is, it won't affect the median other than making an extra week to take the median from. So you get the 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 median of the, what, the, the ninth and tenth, okay. And we go back here, the 9th and 10th, I think that was the 9th, and the 10th. Okay, so 21 and 25, this should be right there, yeah, 21 and 25. We're basically getting the average of those of the, of the those two values. Add 21 and 25 together, you got 46, divide that by 2, is 23 copies of the median. So halfway between 21 and 25. So it doesn't matter what happened on the 18 week, it doesn't affect the median. Now what they're trying to get across here is that, uh, this, the, that with the term average, which means the mode, median, and, and mean, that the, the data can be skewed heavily by extreme data. A good example here would be would mean if, let's say, everyone in the class or in, in, you know, earns the same amount, let's say 20 rand a year, and in walks Bill Gates or a rather rich person, their annual earnings be 20 million, 20 billion, whatever. Suddenly the mean earnings in the room dramatically jumps. And some could argue, say, well, the, and, and misusing the word average, say that the average salary in the room is, you know, 200,000. Now, everyone in the room except Bill Gates earns much, much, much less than that, earns 20 grand. But the means, the way it's calculated, would say that and would be a true statement. We look at the median and the mode, that tells a much different story and gives a much fuller picture of what's actually happening in the data. And that's all statistics is, the way of us humans to make sense of what's happening in the data. But anyway, part three here says the mean number of copies sold per week over the whole 18 weeks now, it's an extra week, was 28.5, so the mean is bigger. Work out the number of copies that were sold in the 18th week. So we have the mean formula we used earlier. The mean is equal to the sum of the data divided by the number of data points. Now we know what the mean is. We know that the end value has changed to 18, was 17, but now it's the 18th week. Um, but we don't know what the sum of those values is. But there's three unknowns, we know two of them. So we're going to solve for that unknown. 
Bring the 18 across, and divide on the right, becomes a subtract, uh, multiply on the left, as we've done here. Do that calculation, I got 513. So the number of, the sum of all the copies sold over the 18 weeks is 513. The sum of the copies sold over the 17 weeks is 431. The difference is the number of copies sold in that 18th week. Now, it might take time to go back over that. Um, and in one sense, you're trying to understand the logic here. If you do understand the logic, it will give you a good understanding of what mode, median, and, and mean are all about. There's any number of other online videos. Uh, if you understand those three concepts, the questions they can ask you, the tricky questions like this, become much, much, much easier. And I'd argue that for life, a good understanding of those basic statistical concepts uh, would be useful. Or even just to understand that we can use statistics to look at data and make sense of it. Just most of us don't have those skills. Okay, now I think this is part E. No, this question four done. Okay, I see you in question five, and apologies for the length.